Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and this time around, let's uh, re-examine the flip tool. So many of you will know that in the most recent update, 2023.1, there were a few updates added to a couple things, but one of them was the flip tool. So we're gonna look at the new functionality of the flip tool as well as just share some tips and tricks. Let's jump in. So the flip tool, um, there were options for mirroring or flipping objects previously, but the flip tool specifically made that so much easier. It works along the local axis of whatever group or geometry you have. So I'm just invoking the flip tool with a keyboard shortcut and um, and, and you can see how that works. Now, you also probably know that you can toggle the flip command to work on the local axis as uh, this bounding box shows or the global axis in case you wanted to flip it regardless of how you have rotated your object and you wanted to flip it according to the global red, green, and blue. You can also flip Let's flip a copy and stretch. So hopefully those are things um, that you already know about. And if not, we, we have covered some of those things in previous skill builders. But what we want to talk about is that there are still cases where you're trying to flip or mirror geometry and none of these um, regular axes will work. But the new functionality we've added will allow you to flip about any plane in the model, any surface at all. So if I wanted to flip a copy of this couch uh, in this direction, I simply can hover over here, toggle a copy, and then drag this out to wherever I want to mirror that about or flip that about. It's pretty cool, comes really in handy and just some you know, specific situations, but if I wanted this couch, I needed to flip a copy around, let's say the back of this. Well, that doesn't exist, but it's easy to grab the rotated rectangle, click, click, and lock that down. Now I can quickly flip this about that point uh, or surface. So really, um, great addition, great update to an already phenomenal uh, functionality in the flip tool. Love that. The other thing that I want to talk about is if I go to a top view and turn perspective off. One of the things that is really nice is that the flip tool still works, even though I can't see the red or green plane, for example, but I can still flip using those. Um, as a different example, recently I was working on some drawer organization and so I had some tools and a CNC controller, various things, and it just makes it really easy once I have these drawn to be able to, you know, play with different configurations of how this drawer might go together. Now, obviously we could use the rotate and scale um, and move tools as we would previously, but just having this as another option, as a quick way to flip um, and move tools around is pretty, uh, pretty fantastic that it works just even in orthographic view. So I'm loving on that as well. And that's it. So just a few quick tips with the flip tool, but I do really enjoy the new functionality that it allows us. Uh, love that new flip about any surface functionality. And I do use it quite often in plan view, not just for organizing or moving things around, but also in building shapes and, and mirroring shapes uh, that, you know, then we'll go back and push pull. It's, it's, it's a great addition. So. 
Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have found the new flip tool to be useful or other suggestions for how even it might be improved going forward. We'd love to hear that and have that discussion. As always, please do like and subscribe and give us your feedback on any topic you'd like or any suggestions for topics we can cover in future videos. And we'll see you next time.